Hello there, so in this video, this is targeted for people that are new to crypto uh, and that really have got no idea what they're doing and I get a lot of uh, comments and questions about you know real basic things that are basic to us because we've been in the crypto space for a while but there's a lot of new people coming into the space and so this video is targeted at you. Okay, so if you don't understand what you're doing and you really want to uh, get on a platform and uh, this one in particular is Avarice so I'm going to go through everything you need to know. Now this video could be quite lengthy, so I'm going to do it in sections. So you can always, if you need to, you can have a look at the timeline and uh, skip to a section if you already know how to do a particular part. So I'm going to cover everything from the wallet that you need, uh, the best one to use for the, for Avarice. I'm going to the token that you need, uh, and you know how to uh, use the referral to get to Avarice, how to go into the auction how to collect from the auction and how to stake and uh, there are other videos on my channel about the reward system and all that so I encourage you to check those out but I will go over briefly everything in this video. So like I said this is targeted at new people to crypto so if you're experiencing crypto and you, you already know what you're doing you won't need to watch this video. However you might find some interesting things in this so uh, maybe it might pay to watch it if you have the time. If not well, there's plenty of other videos on my channel to watch, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the wallet, how to install it, okay, and the best settings for this, and then the token that you will need in the wallet in order to uh, invest in Avarice, okay, or Avarice, okay? So on the screen you can see that I am on metamask.io. Okay, now this wallet you can use as a browser extension. So if you're using desktop, for example, or a laptop, uh, and you've got Chrome browser or the Firefox browser or any other browser, most browsers, even Brave browser, will work. You, you can install this as a browser extension. Okay, now the best two that I find that work with Avarice are Google Chrome and uh, Edge, okay, Microsoft Edge. Okay, now those are the best two that I've found that work with this particular platform. Now, other browsers like Firefox and all that and Brave might work with other platforms, but with Avarice, this is, this is the two browsers that I find the best, okay? So, we're on Metamask.io, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the store. Now, remember that uh, you can. Th this is also compatible. I've got to download now. Okay, so remember, come to metamask.io. I've got to download now. Now you can see down here that all these supported browsers are here, but you can also install this on your phone. Okay, so on iOS, on Apple, on your iPhone, or on any Android phone. Okay, so now I know that most people use phones these days, so this will be you. Now the way that I, the process that I show you how to install this. It's exactly the same, okay, as on a phone. It's exactly the same process. The only difference is that when you're actually connecting to Avarice, okay, there is a big difference if you're using a phone, and I will explain that when we get to that stage of the video. For now, we're going to install MetaMask. So remember, this is the same principle for a desktop, laptop, or phone, okay, same principle. All these principles I want to show you are the same. Okay, so now I know a lot of you use dark mode, so up here we'll change to dark mode so it's easier for you to see, okay? So because I have Microsoft, I'm using Microsoft Edge, okay? So because I have Edge, I'm going to be installing it as a browser extension, all right? So right here it says install, It'll, it will detect what browser you're using, okay? So here it says install MetaMask for Edge, so I'm going to click on install, all right? And now up here it says get. Okay, so I'm going to click on Get, and yes, I do want to add it to Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to click on the Add Extension. Okay. Now it's added it, but you might not be able to find it. So it says here that it's found. So the best way is to, if you come up to on Edge anyway, it's going to it's automatically doing this for you. But I want to pin it up the top here. Okay, so I'm going to come to the Settings now. On Google Chrome, it's just uh, you've got a little icon, a little jigsaw puzzle icon that you click on for your extensions in the same area up here. 
But on, on this, I'm just going to come up to here and click on these dots in the corner. Uh, and then I'm just going to click on Extensions. All right. And then I'm going to come down to MetaMask and I'm going to click on that little eye icon. Now it's going to add it to the top here. Okay. And I'm just going to drag this across all the way to here. Okay. So now that we've got that, let's click on Get Started. Okay. Now most of you won't have a MetaMask already set up. Okay. But if you do, uh, then you can just uh, import a wallet using this option here. But we're not going to do that because I'm targeting new people. Okay, so this is your first time installing MetaMask. So we're going to click on create a wallet. All right. So click on that. Uh, now you can read all this, but basically agree. Okay, so I agree. Now create a password, create a good one. If you've got a password manager, use that. Uh, if you haven't, then, you know, create a good one. I've gone over different methods of creating good passwords, but most of the ones I use are a sentence and then I use, like, for example, I take the dog for a walk, but I use, I add the name of the application in the front of the password. So, like, it will be MetaMask. I take the dog for a walk. And then 2022. Or you can have a set of numbers that you always use. So, like, if it was Netflix, I would have Netflix. I take the dog for a walk. So then you know each platform you come to, it's the same middle part of the password, the sentence, but it's just using the DAP for that particular. I mean, that's just the way I do it. But, you know, sometimes I'll use generated passwords as well. See, I have ESET password manager up here, uh, which I really love, and I love ESET. Okay, I've been using it since 2006, seven. All right. So I'm just going to create a password in here. Uh, okay, and then confirm. Okay. I have read and agree to terms. So I do and create. Okay, now this will show you just uh, about your seed phrase, okay, and recovery phrase and how important that is. Basically what a recovery phrase is, is it's 12 words, all right, that are in order, all right, remember this, they are, they are in order and they are randomized. So when we get this uh, seed phrase, we need to store that seed phrase in a very important place off computer, off devices. So you need to write it down in a book, right, and make multiple copies of it and put it in a very secure place, like in a safe or in your grandma's cookie jar or somewhere. But always do two copies of it, maybe three if you can. Write it down in a book, put it on a bit of paper, put it somewhere safe, put it in three different places. Because this is the most important thing that we would of MetaMask that you need to keep safe because if, for example, your computer uh, blows up or it gets stolen, right, and you haven't got your seed phrase, you'll never ever be able to recover those funds. They're gone forever. If you have your seed phrase, then you will be able to uh, install MetaMask on a different device and then restore your all your funds in your wallet from just using that seed phrase. Okay, so this is a vital piece of information that I'm giving you right now. Back up your seed phrase. All right, it's vital. Okay, right. So now that we understand that, all right, click on next. Now here it's going to uh, click here to reveal the secret words. Okay, so obviously you uh, want to be in a place where there's nowhere else, no, nobody else can see this and you want to make sure that you're using a computer that hasn't got any malware or key loggers or anything crazy on it because uh, they will be able to see this, okay? So make sure you're on a secure device. Okay, so I'm going to click here to reveal. Okay, now these are my words and I'm going to just, I've got a couple blanked out for, you know, obvious, obvious reasons, all right? So what you need to do is you need to write these down. Now when you write these down, write them in order. Okay, so I'm actually just going to copy these because for the purposes of this video, and I'm just going to put it on a text file. This is only for the purposes of this video. All right, now, like I said, you need to write these down in a book and keep them safe. Make sure they're in order. All right, okay, so now, now that you've done that, you've got them in a, you've written them down in your book. Okay, now what else you can do, I'll just show you this because this is quite important, is 
you can get these off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, this is a titanium uh, plate that you can actually put your seed phrase, your 12 words, in here. Okay, now it comes with little letters, and you put each seed phrase in there. Okay, each word. So 12 words will fit in there. Now, this is titanium. So even if your house burns down, all right, or, you know, everything goes haywire and it's, everything's gone, all you need is that. Because if you've got your seed phrase, like I said, you can go to any device. You can go to mobile phone, install MetaMask, and it will give you the option to recover from seed phrase. And then you just input your 12 words in order. And then all your funds will be magically restored back on that device. Okay. Now, this is the same way you can do it on different devices. If you want to run MetaMask on different devices, okay, you can do that. You can use the seed phrase. Or you can also use what's called a private key, which I'll show you soon. It's important though, see, like I have a few of these. This is one I just want to show you for this video, but I have a few of these for different wallets, okay, and it's important. There is also hardware wallets, which, uh, you know, I can go into in another video, but that's also important as well. But for now, we're talking about the seed phrase. Use one of those or write it down in a book and keep it real safe. Okay, so now I've got those uh, copied or I've got them written down in your case. I'm going to go to next. Okay, now here we have to confirm your secret recovery phrase. Okay, so now remember everything has to be in order. Okay, so I'm going to do this in order. I'm going to push these in order. Uh, I'm going to blank this out, obviously, in, in little pieces here so that you can't see all my seed phrase. So you can't do anything nefarious with it. Okay, so let me just have a look. I've got this one. I'm going to just go through in order. Remember, they've got to be in order. Uh, that one... Uh, where are that one and that one and that one go forward that one that one that one that one and that one okay and now confirm okay congratulations you're all done okay so now that you've actually created the wallet uh, now we'll have a look at what what next you need to do okay so we'll click on all done now let me just explain the details of this wallet because I know you're new, okay? Now, with every wallet comes an address, okay? And this is the address that you'll give to people or that you'll use to send crypto to it, okay? Now, right here, it says account one, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change this name okay and also to view this a little bit better so you can copy it right here the address but if we click on these little three dots okay and we just go to account details all right now this is a QR code which is a good way to send money to this so if you if you're using your phone and you're for example you're on coinbase and you've bought some crypto and you want to send it to your wallet you can then scan that QR code all right and it will automatically put that address in for you so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on that little pencil and I'm just going to call this, um, I'll call this passive as key. Passive as key. You know what? I'm going to call it crypto as key. Uh, where are we? Crypto is key. Bit illiterate today. Um, okay, so I've, re re I've renamed the account, which is cool because you can have multiple in here, which I'll show you in a second. Now, here is your address, okay? Now, you can copy it from here, like I showed you just originally, just a second ago. You can copy it from here. But you can also copy it here. So if I copy this address, all right, and I'm just going to open up another notepad here. I'll just pull this down here. Now if I paste it in here, this is your address, okay? This address, every single wallet that you create or every single wallet has an address, all right? So the best way to remember this address or verify when you're sending is to always look at the last four digits so when you're going to send any money to it to confirm you always check these last four digits to make sure that this is your address that you're sending to because a lot of people have made the mistake of sending funds to the wrong address right it might be in the cache in their browser or something like that or they've put the wrong one in okay so it's important you always double check whenever you're going to send funds to your address always always look at the last four digits all right so let me move this across. Now, the other thing that is very important is that when you create a MetaMask wallet, so let me just show you something. I'm going to close this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create another wallet, okay? So it's a good way to do this, a good practice is to have a different wallet and a different account for different platforms, okay? I mean, 
not you don't have to do this, but I personally do it because then it keeps uh, each platform, if it's a major one that you're investing in, on every wallet, different one. You don't need to do this, but I'm just showing you this option because I want to show you something with the, with creating a different wallet. So up here, right here, I'm going to come to here and I'm going to say create account. Okay. So this one here, I'm going to call this one Passive's Key. Um, Passive's Key. Okay. And then I'm going to click on create. Now it automatically goes to this account. Okay. Now, as you can see, this has got an address too. Okay. So every account, every wallet has its own address. So if I copy this right here and I bring my notepad across right here, and I'll just go down a couple of lines. You can see that this is a different address. Okay. So here I always, like I said, always check the last four whenever you're sending funds to it. So basically I just want you to understand that there is a, uh, every wallet that you create in here has got its own unique address. Okay, now, now this is important. If you're creating multiple accounts in MetaMask, they won't be attached to the seed phrase, the original 12 word seed phrase to secure your account. So you need to export each new account that you create, you need to export the private key, all right, because the private key will allow you to import that on different devices, all right? But if you lose, if you lose, if you've created, for example, five different wallets on here, and you have not backed those up individually with the private key, and you lose your computer, when you restore it with that 12-word seed phrase, you will only get the original, uh, I'm not sure what it has, oh, I didn't save it, that's right. So um, that was called, I called this crypto as key, but I didn't save it. So uh, let me just go back here. And I'm just going to come back here on the three dots, go to account details, click on the little pencil, and call this crypto as key, just so we know. Okay, and then I'm going to save it by clicking that little uh, tick right there. Okay, so what I was saying is that when you first create this MetaMask account, there is an account created automatically for you. That's the default address that comes with the MetaMask account when you create it, all right? Now, the seed phrase that you backed up in the beginning, this account is attached to that, but not any of the other accounts, okay? So when you create a new account, like how I've just done that, I've just created this one, this is not attached to that seed phrase, okay? So when you go to restore your account on a different device, you will only come up with that one right so every account that you create in metamask every wallet that you that you create i'll just go to the second one you need to export the private key and print it and keep it offline just like your seed phrase right don't keep it online don't send it in emails or anything like that if you do delete the email straight away and the way to get your private key for each account is you come to the three dots you go to account details all right and see it says here, export private key. So you click on export private key, and you'll need to type in the password that you first created when you created your MetaMask wallet, you created a password. So you'll need to put that in here. Okay, and then you click on confirm. I'm gonna show you this obviously, but I'm gonna click on confirm. And this is the private key right here. Okay, so you need to copy that and put it in a safe place, put it offline. All right, and that's your private key. So that you can, for example, you've just created, uh, you've imported your seed phrase on another device, right? And you have used the seed phrase, right? You've used the seed phrase and you've got this wallet right here, but now you need to bring that other wallet in here. Okay, you need the other wallet. So the way to do that is you can import using a private key. So let me show you, if I, if I come up here and you go see here where it says import account, right? If you click on this, it gives you the option, private key. So that key that we've just copied, if we put it in here, right? We can now import that wallet, okay? So in other words, the private key that you export, all right? The private key that you export from every account that you create in here, can be used across multiple devices. Okay, so if you want your MetaMask wallet on 10 different devices, you can install MetaMask on 10 different devices, 
right? And then you can just use that private key from each account to restore that wallet on each device, all right? So please understand that, that when you first create this wallet and you get that 12 seed seed phrase, 12 word seed phrase, make sure that it's in order when you write it down, okay? And make sure that you understand that it's only attached this to the one account, default account that it creates in MetaMask when you first install MetaMask. Every other account, like this one here, is not attached to that seed phrase, so you'll need to export the private key from each account. All right, it's very important. Okay, so now you understand the wallet. Now there is some other details you can you can go through here and have a look at, you know, settings. Okay, there's a few different settings in here. Um, now networks will you I'll need to show you this in a minute, but there's alerts. There's like you can go through all these. Most of it's good just on the on default okay so you don't really need to worry about too much of that the only different the only thing that we really need to worry about in here is networks which i'll show you uh, in a minute okay so now as you can see when we've created this wallet it's on the ethereum mainnet all right ethereum mainnet so that is what's called if, if you're new to crypto you probably know what ethereum is that's usually the first thing you learn is Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin first, then Ethereum next. So Ethereum is a blockchain, right? And on that blockchain, people build projects. They're called dApps, okay? Decentralized apps, okay? So they're built on the Ethereum blockchain. However, there is different blockchains, all right? And creators, uh, developers, create different dApps on those blockchains as well. So you've got different blockchains, okay? So every blockchain has its own token that is native to it because on every blockchain whenever you make a, a, a transaction when you send money to the wallet send different cryptos to the wallet or interact uh, with platforms and you need to make a transaction it, you, you need uh, the native token to pay for that transaction fee and you always need some of that native token in your wallet so for example ethereum this is the ethereum blockchain you need ethereum I've got none in here at the moment, it's a new wallet, but you need Ethereum in your wallet to be able to make transactions. No Ethereum, no transactions, all right? So if you, for example, had one Ethereum in here and you tried to send one Ethereum somewhere, you couldn't because you need a little bit to, for transactions. So you'd have to send, you know, um, 9.8 of that Ethereum, um, you know, I mean, sorry, 98% of it. Or instead of one Ethereum, You'd send you know you know nine point nine, uh, or you know the percentage ninety percent or ninety five percent. You always need a little bit uh, of the native token in the wallet for transactions, which is called gas. All right, gas fee. Okay, so now that we know that, let me just show you something. I'm going to go to coinmarketcap.com. Uh, coinmarket that this one here. Now I want to show you this. This is just a, a website that you can use for different information, um, you know, on the blockchain, and just shows you different tokens that are available. Now, as you can see, we've got Bitcoin here. Okay, so we've got Ethereum right here. Okay, so Ethereum is, you know, this. Uh, sorry, here, Ethereum. Okay, so we're on the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, so this is Ethereum right here. This is the blockchain. All right. Now, if we come down here. You can see we have one called Solana. This is another blockchain, right? So the same thing if you're using Solana, you need a little bit of the Solana token for fuel, for gas, okay, for transactions, all right? There's another one here called Tron, okay, which is another blockchain, all right? The same thing, if you're going to make transactions, always have a little bit of TRX, Tron, the token for Tron. Uh, there's Avalanche, which is another one. So all these blockchains have different have different uh, tokens, uh, have different, sorry, projects built on top of them, all right? Now, there's a reason for that, and I want to explain that quickly before we look at the one that we need, all right? Now, Ethereum is the main one. It always has been. It was the first one, and it's the, the main one that, you know, developers develop on. However, the transaction fees are very expensive at the time of this video, all right? They are very expensive, and they have been for quite some time. So because of that, other blockchains have, have been created because they wanted to solve that issue with transaction fees being a lot cheaper because when you're new to crypto or you come to crypto and you want to interact with all the 
projects or you want to send money, you don't want to be co- it doesn't want you, you know you don't want to be don't want to be spending a lot on transaction fees. Otherwise, it can become very expensive. So a lot of these new blockchains have solved that issue. All right. Okay, so now that we know there's different blockchains, now that we know that we need that native token on the blockchain for transaction fees always in our wallet, otherwise we can't make transactions, now let's look at the blockchain and the token that we need to interact and to invest in Avarice with, Avarice, okay? And that is called BNB, which is on the Binance smart chain, which is just another blockchain, okay? And like all the other blockchains, we always need some of that token in the wallet for transactions, okay? With Avarice, we need to be investing that token into the platform to interact with it as well, okay? So it's this one here. See, we've got BNB. Okay, so if we click on that, all right, this is the token, uh, but we need a specific version of it. We need it for the smart chain. There are a few different versions of this, but we need the smart chain version, all right? So now the thing is, is that this is a different blockchain, all right? Now, if we come back to our MetaMask wallet right here, We're on the Ethereum blockchain, and we don't want to be on the Ethereum blockchain because that's for Ethereum tokens, all the projects that have been built on Ethereum, and we don't want that. We want the BNB, the smart chain blockchain. So how are we going to get that? How are we going to do that in MetaMask? Well, the way that we do that is we come up to where it says Ethereum mainnet, and we click on that, and we're going to add network. So what this means is we're going to basically add a different blockchain in MetaMask, okay, so that we can use it and interact with the projects on that blockchain, okay? So I'm going to click on Add Network, okay? And what we need is these details for an, in order to add the BNB or the Binance Smart Chain into our MetaMask wallet, we need these different details to add in here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, pull this across here and I'm going to show you the details that we need so I'm just going to pull this across here uh, and let me just open up this wallet this wallet I'm, I'm actually opening on uh, the Chrome browser and let me just log in and I already have it installed on here so I'm going to show you this okay Now, I'm going to go to exactly the same uh, area on the MetaMask on the Chrome browser, okay, so I can actually get the network and show you. Okay, so let me just pull this across to here, and I'll just pop that in here. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is now I'm going to click on Networks, okay? So this is where you add the new network. So remember we clicked on Add Network. Now when you click on that, you will see this, Add Network, and you will see this. But the point of the matter is is that it's called the Smart Chain. So I've already got it installed on this one, okay? So I wanted to show you this. So this is how you would add the details. These are the details that you need to add in each each, um, text field, okay? So, smart chain. So, network name, URPC URL, chain ID, BNB is the symbol, okay? The token, BNB is the token that we need, okay? For fuel, for the gas, for the transaction fees, and it's the one that we invest use into Avarice, okay? This is the one that we need, all right? Now, this is the block explorer. So, basically, what you need to do is you need to fill in these details, all right? So, if I just... I'm going to split the screen for a minute. I'm just going to pull this down so it's even. Now, you won't be able to see me for a minute, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, this is on the new MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to copy these. Now, I'll leave these in the uh, video description, okay, so that you can just follow along. Okay, so network name. We put the network name here. Okay, the new RPC. So I'm just going to copy that and put that here. All right, and then chain ID 56, I'm just going to type in 56 here. BNB is the symbol, so I'm going to put that in here. Okay, and then this URL, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put that in here. Okay, so now that we've got those details, all we need to do is click on Save. Okay, I'll pull this out of the way for now. And now, 
as you can see, we've got BNB written here because BNB is the native token of the BNB blockchain that we need for gas as well. All right, so you always need BNB in your wallet, okay, whenever you do any transactions. So, for example, if you've got one BNB and you go to Avarice and you want to invest one BNB, you won't be able to because you need a little bit more for the actual transaction fee. So, you'll need like 1.001 BNB, okay. So always keep enough in your wallet for transactions. Now you'll notice that the wallet address is actually the same. See up here? So look, the last four digits, F208. If we come to the Ethereum one, it's F208. Okay. So that means that you can send all of the different blockchain tokens to the same address. Okay. So let's go back to the smart chain. All right. So... Now that we've, we understand uh, about MetaMask, we understand that we're using the Binance Smart Chain to interact with Avarice, okay, Avarice. Now we need the BNB token. Now where do we get that? Okay, so uh, there are a few places that you can buy this from and uh, get this from, but if you're very new to crypto, uh, probably the easiest place, and to, if you want to get it fast, all right, is from MoonPay. That's probably the quickest way you'll get it. Now, if you've got no accounts on Binance or your exchanges or you're just totally new, all right, you're totally new, uh, then MoonPay is probably the best uh, solution to get it, you know, quick. Now, you can buy, see here, it says buy, you can buy within uh, MetaMask, okay? So there is that option as well. So let's quickly look at that option, okay? So if you click on buy, now you've got the three options right here, okay? So you can actually come to each one through here. So we can, you can go to MoonPay externally as well, or which it'll take you to anyway, or you can just click on, click on here, click on buy, and then you can use, there is obviously three different uh, options here. Well, these two are the ones to actually purchase it, okay? So I have not personally used Transact, okay? Um, but I heard it works fine. So I have used MoonPay. So I'm going to quickly show you this on how to do it with MoonPay. Okay, so if we continue to MoonPay. Now this is buying it within the wallet. Okay, so if we, let's for example do 100. Okay, this is the amount of BNB you're going to get. All right, now you've got to make sure it's the right BNB. So we just make sure you got to make sure that it's not the, um, this is the, the stable coin. We don't want that. We want the actual BNB, the token. Okay, it's called BEP20, BEP20, and it's the BNB coin, not the BUSD coin. So make sure it's the BNB. So we've got that. Okay, let's go to continue. Okay, connect with MetaMask. So we're connecting with this one. Okay, because it's connecting with the one that the BNB network that we're on, and this is the one that we're using. Okay, so we go next. Okay, connect. Okay, now go continue. Okay, check out with MoonPay. I'm going to put my email in here. Continue. Okay, so it's going to send a verification code to my email, which I will open up my email. And it should be almost here by the time. Now, I usually go to MoonPay externally, not within MetaMask. So I've never actually done this before, but I'm working along with you, so it'll make it easier. So if we run into any problems, you'll see the problems. Okay, so let me just see if I've got that verification code. And here we go. MetaMask, MetaMask Web via MoonPay. All right, so I've got that one in here. Let me just see if I can copy and put the whole lot in here. Okay, continue. Okay, so I've already got a card in here because I've used MoonPay before. All right, now I've had a few issues with it. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to tell you 100% that this is going to work. All right, but what I can tell you is that uh, it works normally the first couple of times and if there's any other issues, I guess it matters on how much you want to purchase, right? You're probably limited. So I'm going to try a purchase right now. Now, you, as you can see, the address, it's automatic. It's already added it. It's going to add it to your correct address. Now, normally when you do the external version of MoonPay through your browser, you have to input the address manually. 
this is doing it automatically for you. So this is a good way to do it, okay? So I'm just gonna put in my security code here, which I'm gonna blot out, obviously, okay? Now I'm gonna come down here to agree, and then I'm gonna buy now, okay? So let's see if it works. It might not, but we'll see. Processing your payment, please wait. Let's hope it goes through this time. And it's coming up with a secure visa, which I'll probably have to input some more details. Okay, it's wanting to give me a text. All right, so I'm going to do it to this phone here. I'm going to continue. And let's open this phone here. Got so many things on this phone, but let's just make sure that we'll get it. Okay. Let's have a look and see if it's going to come up here. Looks like it has come and 207 so that's the right time let me see code okay so we've got the code here so 3836641 okay just make sure okay yep that's it so submit Let's see if it has worked. Okay, verified processing. Great. Okay, so it looks like it's going through this time. Uh, and let's see if everything works. Okay, now I've just had a email verification uh, that it says that the order has been placed. And transaction normally takes between a few minutes and half an hour to complete. Okay, so it could take a little time to complete, but, you know, I'll keep this video going, but if it does take too long, I'll just pause it. Okay, so that didn't take too long. It was, uh, I don't know, a couple of minutes, I guess. And as you can see, it's been processed and delivered. Okay, so now if we go back to our MetaMask wallet and we just close this out, here we go. So we've got the 0.35 BNB. So everything's, that worked really well. I've never used that before, but it worked really well okay so that's a quick way to get BNB without having to do anything else all right instant almost instant so now that we have our BNB let's look at actually interacting with Avarice uh, and uh, entering the auction and collecting the tokens and then staking okay so that'll be in the next part of this video Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to have a referral link to be able to click on. Okay, so if you come to any of my videos on Avarice, you'll find that in the video description, you'll see I've got it here. So where it says website here, okay, you can click on this and that will actually use my referral code. Now, it doesn't matter if you use somebody else's, this is going to be the same principle. Okay, so now that we uh, we understand that, that you need a referral code, if we click on this, so I'll click on this now. Now we'll go to the Avarice, this is the main page. Okay, so as you can see up here in the URL, this right here, okay, that's the address. That's my wallet address, so that's how you know you're using somebody's referral. So if we look at that, okay, and then we open up MetaMask, uh, this is actually a different address because I'm using this for uh, the tutorial. So this is a different wallet address. But just know that the address will show up here, okay, that you've used for your referral. Okay, so if I wanted to use this wallet address, so for example, you want to use somebody else's referral address, all right, you can just have them send your their, their wallet address like this, okay. So if I copy this, I've now got this address. So let's just say, for example, let me just bring this over here. Let's say, for example, that uh, somebody sent you their wallet address and they said, oh, can you please use my referral link? All right. So as long as you have their address, what you can do is if I copy this, okay, let me just pull that across. If I come up here, okay, and this part here is the address, see here, where it's got the actual website address, but right there it goes equals, right after that equal sign, if I just go across there, okay, and then I right click and go paste, now I'm pasting in the address for somebody else. Well, this is actually my address, but this could be any address that somebody gave you. Now you can 
change your address, change your referral, the one that you use every day if you want. If you want to, you know, spread the love around and use somebody else's referral link to help them out, you can do this. And all you need to do is go to this main page with a referral link and then just swap out that address with whoever's address you want to use. Okay. Now once that's there, we've got that set. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to connect with mobile as well. All right. Uh, with your MetaMask because remember I'm on desktop. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, show you how to do that on mobile. But first, I'm going to show you how to do this on desktop. Now it's the same, exactly the same principle. It's exactly the same principle. The only difference was with when you're on mobile, is you need to uh, use the browser that is actually inside the MetaMask app on your phone. So in MetaMask on your phone, you will actually see a browser. Okay. Now I I can't show you that right now, but I'm gonna. Uh, actually show you, you know, what I'll do is I'll actually record on my mobile phone right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, the recorder and I'm going to screen record this and I'm just going to open up MetaMask on my phone. I'm going to show you the browser. Okay, so I'm going to start recording. Start now. Okay, and then I'm just going to go to MetaMask and open MetaMask. And I'm going to show you what you need to do by just opening up MetaMask. This is on my older phone. It's a Google Pixel, uh, but the older version. Okay, so now that I have this open, uh, what you need to do is you need to go up to the three bars up here. And you can notice that there's the browser option right here. Okay, so all we need to do is click on that browser option. Now make sure that you're obviously first, make sure that you're on the smart chain. See it says smart chain up here. Okay, you don't want to be on Ethereum. Make sure you're on the smart chain. All right, because this is this, the BNB smart chain is what interacts with Avarice. Okay, not Ethereum. So make sure that that, all right, is, let me just come down here, make sure it's on the smart chain. Okay. So we come up to the three bars. We now click on browser. Okay, so you're using the internal browser for MetaMask. All right, we click on that. Now I already have it set to Avarice token to automatically go to the to this part of it. But what we do is if you click up on the top here, and I can actually get rid of this. Okay, this is the actual browser for MetaMask. So I'm going to type in uh, Avarice. Where is it? Avarice. Avarice token dot io okay because that's the address but what you'll do is if you have the referral address all right the full address the referral address you will actually add it in here okay so now I'm just gonna uh, click on enter here okay now it's taking me now it should right so now we're on the main page okay so remember you, you'll have to have the referral address up here. Okay, so you'll have to add it in here. Okay, so just for example, if I go to, uh, let me see, uh, let me just go to my YouTube channel if I can get it through here. I'll go to YouTube Home uh, and I'll go to my channel. Okay, and then I'll go down to, for example, this one, this one, and I'm going to copy. I'm going to go more here. Okay, and uh, okay, right here. Okay, so you can see website here. All right, so I'm going to copy that address. Okay, so copy link text, copy link address. I'm going to come back to. Avarice, it's probably closed now. MetaMask would have closed because that's what happens when you. Um, but we're back here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste with the actual. Um, this is actually this this address here is actually just a short URL, but it's got the 
that address under my YouTube channel in my description has actually got my referral code embedded. I've just made it with a, a, a shortener, a URL shortener. So when I go like that, it will then uh, go to site. Okay. So now, see that? So now it has my actual address in there. Okay. All right. So let me just. Oops, I'll paste that in there again, go there, okay, so now we're good, all right, so now we're actually using the referral address, okay, so remember, you've got to use the browser inside MetaMask, all right, okay, so once you've got that, you're good to go on your phone, so now I'm going to swap back to my PC, all right, because I want to show you, it's easier for me to do the video tutorial on my PC, all right. Right, so we're at the same thing here. Here we're using somebody's uh, referral address. All right, so I'm using this particular wallet, but what I'm going to do is I have actually got a Discord group. Now, if you don't know what Discord is, it's a it's a um, it's a it's a platform that you know a lot of developers and a lot of people use to create communities, um, and it's a good way of sharing information. It's an alternative to, to Telegram, and I think Discord's a lot better. It's a lot more professional. So I'll leave the link in the description of my video on how to get to Discord. All right. Now in my Discord group, what I do is every day. That's my dog. Is every day. Is I'm just going to pause the video for a minute while the dog's barking. Okay. So now that the dog stopped. <laughs> um, so what I do is every day in my Discord channel is I use five people's referrals codes. So I help them out, okay? So to give them a few extra tokens. So if you want to come into the group, you want to join the Discord group, uh, you can, if you use my referral, okay, from the video, uh, then I will use yours back one one day, okay? So in the auction, all right? So that'll help you out as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go to my group here. And uh, even for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use somebody's referral so it helps them out. All right, and I'm just going to go to post your referrals section in the Discord group. So that's where you'll go. And I'm going to grab somebody's address from, uh, what are we, June the 12th. So I'll grab this top one. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come up here. Remember how I showed you? you all you need to do is just change that address, okay, if you want to use somebody else's different referral address each day. So I'm going to paste in there, okay, and that's that one. And then it will refresh the page. Let me just check it. CB. Okay, so we're good to go. Okay, so now that you have, we're on the Everice homepage. You've got the right referral address in here. Now we can click on Get AVC Tokens. All right, so I'm going to click on that. And it's going to want to connect to your MetaMask. Okay, so we want to enable that. So we want to go Next. All right. And then it, all it wants, it just wants to see the what's available in your wallet so it'll, it'll connect to it. You still do everything manually. So we're going to connect. Okay, so now we're connected. Now, as you can see, here is the address. This is this is how you know that you're connected to Avarice. It will show your address in here, okay? And it will show you your balance. Now, remember, that's how much BNB we purchased from MoonPay, okay? 0.35, all right? So the, all of these other things are empty because we haven't interacted yet, all right? So now automatically it takes us to the lobby. Okay, now the lobby is the auction. Okay, so every day there is an auction. Okay, every day there is an auction on Avarice. Now, as you can see up here, we have two hours and 33 minutes left of the auction. Okay, so if we want to enter the auction today, we need to enter it before that timer runs out because then it will start the new day's auction. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, Actually, just let me just explain to you this quickly, okay? So, see here it says available AVC, okay? So, these are the available tokens for this day's auction, okay? So, we're on day nine of the auction. You can see down here, there was three million tokens on day one. And as you can see, they're getting less and less and less. That is because every day, the amount of tokens available in the auction reduces by 0.5% from the previous day, okay? So, 0.5% less than the previous day, all right? So this will last a long time, all right? Now, what's cool, and if you uh, just quickly listen to me for this, this is I know this is getting a little bit more technical, I know you're new, but 
a good thing to do is to watch how much BNB, this is the amount of BNB, okay, uh, sorry here, is the amount of BNB that's been deposited today, 1120 BNB. Now, as you can see, there's been different amounts deposited, okay, each day. Now, the way that this works is the amount of BNB that goes into the auction, all right, these tokens are distributed to all the people that invested, okay, depending on how much BNB they invested. So if you invested, you know, 20 BNB, for example, you'll get a percentage of those tokens depending on how many people are in here, how many BNB has been invested. So for example, if there was 10 people that invested today, BNB, and they all put in, um, you know, 100, or let's say they all put in one BNB. So 10 people invested in the auction today, they all put in one BNB, they will all get the equal share of these tokens at the end. It'll get distributed evenly to each person, right? But if somebody puts in two BNB, they'll obviously get more tokens, okay? So you get distributed tokens depending on the ratio of BNB that you have relative to everybody else, okay? So now that you know that, that's just the basics. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter our BNB. So we know we've got 0.35, that's what we purchased from MoonPay, okay? So we're going to click on Enter, all right? And I'm going to put in 0.2. Okay, now remember I'm using a referral code from my group. Okay, so this could be you, could be getting lucky. And then I'm going to click on Enter Auction. All right, it'll bring up MetaMask. All right, we need to scroll down and we need to wait for this to stop flashing and then we click on Confirm. Okay, now when this is confirmed, there will be a, a nice little green uh, thing that comes along here. This will be the same, this is exactly the same as on your phone. Okay, I'm just showing you on desktop. So when this is complete, you will see up here, it will come any second now. It will show up as a completed transaction. There it is there, successfully entered 0.2 BNB. Now, if you look here, it says your deposits. Okay, now we have 0 0.2 BNB deposited. Okay, so you've now entered the auction. All right. Now, when this timer runs out, Okay, in two hours and 30 minutes, your allocation, depending on how much BNB has been put in here by the end of the auction, your allocation will be sent to you, all right? And then you'll be able to collect it, okay? So I'm going to wait until the end of this auction, all right? When this reaches, uh, you know, that when it starts a new auction, this enter button will then change to collect, okay? So I'm going to, in two hours and 30 minutes, I'm going to come back to this video, okay? And I'm going to restart the video and recording, and I'm going to show you what it looks like after this. In actual fact, I'm going to come just at the end, all right? Just at the end of this auction, just before it changes, all right? And then I'll show you a couple of other things on the way. And then I'll continue to show you how to collect the tokens from the auction, and then to stake them, okay? So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so now as you can see, we've got 30 seconds left uh, of this auction. Now, as soon as this auction is finished, this button here uh, will turn into collect. Okay, now I usually wait uh, a minute or so after the auction is finished uh, before this will change, but it's usually, it's usually pretty quick. Okay, so you can see people are coming in fast now uh, because... Uh, that's what happens because this is actually quite a low day. Well, it's not a low day, but it's a low day in comparison with the last one, two, three, four. So, but if you look at here, at this current, uh, the amount of deposit deposits right here, eighteen hundred and ten, it's still a lot more than the first few days, right? So it's still really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refresh this. Now you watch when I refresh this, this will now change. So I'll refresh the page. And you can see now we have a collect, okay, we have a collect tab on this auction. So this auction completed and the, there was 1974 BNB for this day. And it gave us 289 AVC tokens. That was our share, okay. You can see here the amount of AVC uh, tokens you would have uh, got for one BNB was 1,459 for that auction. Okay, and as you can see, when I've refreshed that, the new auction has started right here. Okay, and there's already a deposit. 
Okay. So now that we have the collect button available, we can now collect our tokens. Now, if we want to see our tokens in our MetaMask wallet, we actually need to add the token to the MetaMask wallet. It's not there by default. So like if, if we go to the wallet here and I, sh I click on assets, you can see there's only BNB here. Okay. So there's no AVC tokens showing here. All right. So we need to add the actual token contract, the address to our MetaMask wallet. Now the way that we can do that, if, if we go back to activity and this was the 0.2 BNB that we invested into the auction. Okay. Now, if we click on this, it will give us the details for the transaction. But if we come up to view on Block Explorer and we click on that, now this will work the same with any token or any contract or any transaction. Okay. So we click on this. Now, what this will do is it will take us to the blockchain. Okay. And the transaction details on the blockchain. Now, as you can see, we've got from. Okay. So this here is actually our address that we used, okay, that we actually invested the two, the point two uh, BNB into. Now this contract, the contract, this is the Avarice contract, okay, because it's going to, so we've sent BNB to the contract, okay. Now if we click on this contract, that's going to give us some details about the contract, okay. Now just on the right here, you can see we have Avarice token. Okay, this is the this is the AVC, so this is the token. Now if we click on this, okay, that brings us to the actual token details. Now, this contract, now this is the same if you want to add any token to MetaMask from any contract, uh, from anything, you need the token contract address. Okay, and this is the contract address for the AVC token. So if we copy this. Okay, we'll copy this and then we'll come back to MetaMask. Okay, and right here we're going to click on import tokens. Okay, so we're on assets. We're going to click on import tokens. All right, so we'll click on import tokens. And the contract address is the one, this one here that we just copied. Okay, we've copied that contract address. We're going to now paste it into here. All right, and now you can see it's automatically come up with these details and that's all we need okay and then we go, go add custom token okay and then import tokens all right so now if we come back by clicking on this little arrow up here and then we click on assets down here now you can see we have the AVC token okay so now that we have that let's come back to Avarice okay now what we're going to do is we're going to collect the tokens now when we collect these tokens you will also see the tokens show up here because this basically here is a representation of our MetaMask wallet showing the details. Okay. This is remember that our MetaMask wallet is connected to a smart contract. Okay. When we connect to this, this Avarice platform and we do things on here like invest, it's connected via a smart contract. That's how I was able to show you that transaction on the blockchain. Okay. So all the details are here. So now when we collect this, it will show here on the on the Everest uh, website. It will actually show here, right? And even if you didn't add that token to your MetaMask wallet, like I just showed you now, it would still show the tokens here. What we did was just add the contract address here, so that we can actually see the tokens in our wallet. You don't need to do that, but it's just for a visual thing, okay? So let's come back here now. Let's collect the tokens, right? So we'll click on, click, click on collect. We'll bring up MetaMask, and now we just need to confirm. Okay, confirm, and now what it's doing is it's get our 289 tokens here that we that we got from the auction will now come into here, and it will also display in our MetaMask because we have added the token contract in there to make it visible. Okay, to, for it to display. So in a minute, when you get the confirmation coming up here, it will show the tokens in here too. Okay. So the contract is still, it's still running the transaction. And it will come very soon. We can actually take a look if we go up to MetaMask. 
Oh, it's actually already it's already happened. Okay, and here's our tokens. All right. Now, the reason why we have slightly more, we have a few more, is because when you use somebody's referral address, you will also get one percent yourself of tokens. So that's why there's more than two hundred eighty nine. There's two hundred ninety one. Okay, because you've got one percent tokens back as well. So that's why. All right. Okay, so. Now, now that we have collected those tokens, now we don't need, by the way, just before, I just want to make this clear. We don't need to collect the tokens as soon as the auction finishes. Okay? As long as we collect them and stake them before this day ends, then our stake will start, okay, this day and not the next one. So you obviously want to do this. As, it's better to, it's better to collect your tokens. All right, after the auction or within a couple of hours, it doesn't really matter as long as it's before this timer runs out, but collect your tokens and just do your stake. All right, now just remember one thing that when you collect your tokens, all right, when you collect them, that is when the person that you use the referral address, that is when they will get their referral tokens, okay, and not before. So if you don't collect this, they won't get their referral tokens, all right, and you won't get yours. Okay, so now that we have this, we have our tokens in the wallet. Now, if we go to MetaMask, you'll see that the tokens are now, if we click on Assets, you can see the tokens are right here too. So you've got them displayed in your wallet as well. Okay, so if you want to send some tokens to like another wallet or to a friend, you can do that straight from MetaMask, all right? In actual fact, you can do it from here. See this token transfer? If I click on that, you can put the amount. So you've got 291. Say, for example, you wanted to send 100 to somebody. Okay, you could. And then the address that you put in here is just their MetaMask address. All right, this one. So I could send those tokens from this address to my crypto as key one. Okay, I could do that. In actual fact, I will show you. So I'll, I'll click on the crypto as key address. So this could be your friend's address. All right. I'm going to then put it in here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to send 100 AVC tokens to my other wallet okay so I'm now going to send it's going to bring up MetaMask to confirm it okay I'm going to click on confirm and you will see a hundred will disappear from here okay and it will also disappear from your wallet as well obviously okay because we've if we uh, see successfully sent now as you'll notice for each wallet, you'll notice right here, we can't see any AVC tokens because we haven't added the contract for that wallet. Okay, so if I go back to the original one, the one that we have this contract with here, you can see I've only got 191 tokens now. So 100 has been sent. So if we go, you can see the, the visible token. So what we need to do now is we need to add that token to the other wallet account. Okay, so I'm going to connect to it just for now. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to add that asset. We're going to add the AVC token to this wallet. So the way that we do that, remember, we come back to here, to the contract, and we copy the contract address. I'm going to come back to the wallet. I'm going to import tokens. I'm going to put the contract address in here. Okay. And then I'm going to add custom token. And there's our 100. See that? So now, if we come back to the wallet again. Now we've got our 100 AVC tokens. Okay. So I'm going to come back to Avis. I'm going to reconnect to the original wallet, okay? Because now we're, we're connected to, I know we're actually still connected, but here we're not. So I'm going to just connect back to the original one, which was this one, passive is key, okay? Right, so we have collected. Uh, if we refresh this, we'll just make sure. Okay, you can see that that collected is now grayed out because we've collected those tokens. Okay, so we have 191 tokens. We just sent 100 to another wallet, so we've only got 191. So let's stake these. Okay, so how do we do that? So just remember, you want to collect your tokens before that timer runs out and you want to get them staked before that timer runs out. Okay, otherwise you'll miss out on a day. All right, so to stake them, let's go to staking. We'll click on staking. Okay, so as you can see, this is a new wallet, so we have no stakes here. We have nothing, okay? So, now there's different strategies. You can check all my videos for different strategies on, you know, 
the time to stake. The maximum you can stake is for 300 days. All right, and you can stake for as little as one day if you want. The longer you stake, the more BNB divs you'll get, not the ratio of BNB, but obviously the longer you stake, you'll get, because you get paid BNB dividends every day. Okay. Now, you're probably asking, well, where does the BNB come from? So the auction, the BNB that goes into the auction. Okay. Now, please check out my video that I've got. I'll actually put it up here, a link up here. It'll explain how the rewards from each auction, how, how the BNB from each auction is distributed uh, into the future. So there's rewards for the future. Okay. So it's 94% of the BNB that is entered into the auction will get distributed over a few days forward. But you'll need to watch that video to understand it. It's a little bit, not, not technical, but you need to watch that video. So you get BNB divs. Now, also here, see this, you get bonus tokens, right? Now these are AVC tokens. Because what happens is when you make a stake, let me show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 191 tokens. Okay, so I'm going to put in 191. And the stake days, let's start with 30. Okay, now I'm staking for 30 days. As you can see, I'm getting a bonus of 2.2 .2 AVC tokens. So that's these bonus tokens will show up here. Okay. So what happens is when the stake is finished after the 30 days, you'll be able to claim You'll be able to claim the stake. You'll get your original tokens, so the 191 that you have here. You'll get those back. You'll also get your bonus tokens, which would be 2.2. .2, so you'll get 193.2 tokens back in total. And you'll get whatever BNB dividends you have accumulated, the rewards you have accumulated over the 30 days. That will all come back at the end of the stake. All right? So you get BNB divs every day. Once you've claimed that stake, you'll be able to then restake the 193 tokens, okay, into a new stake. Pretty cool, then. Okay, so let's stake this. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to stake this for 60 days. I like 60 days, all right? Uh, and now you can see I get eight bonus tokens, not two for 30 days, but I've gone only, I've gone double. I've gone from 30 days to 60 days, but instead of getting double the amount, which would have made it four, I'm actually getting eight. So the longer you stake, the more bonus tokens you get, okay? So now that we've got that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on stake. I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to click on confirm. Okay, and as soon as that stake has been confirmed, you will get a notification up here that will tell you. And uh, it shouldn't take too long. It usually comes through reasonably quick. Any second now, you can check your MetaMask wallet here. You can see that it's still going. Okay, it's pending, all right, but as soon as it's done its thing, there we go, right there, successfully staked 191 AVC for 60 days. And you can see it's finished here. Now, if I come down here to the refresh button, and I refresh, here is our stake, okay? So it's start day 11, because today is the new start of a day 11, okay? And it will end on day 71, for 60 days it is, okay? Now... See where it says starting soon. So you've started your stake, but the actual stake won't go active, okay, until the following day. So see how it's got 23 hours, okay. When this timer runs out and it starts the new day, your stake will then become active, okay. And then the following day, so when that completes another cycle, another 24 hours, you'll get your first rewards that will show here, okay. So I will show you what it looks like with some stakes that I have on my other account, okay? I'll pull these over. And I'll just line this up here so it lines up. Just so this, this gives you an idea, okay? So here, this was the first day. It was actually day three, but this was the first day I staked, all right? And well, this is the first day you get rewards, all right? It was day one, but it was this is the first day you get rewards. So as you can see, I staked 18,000 tokens, all right? And my dividends so far, so it's been seven days, okay? 
So my dividends so far, my BNB dividends so far is 13 BNB, okay? And these are the bonus tokens I will get, all right? So when my 60 days is complete, okay, which will be on day 60, which will be on day uh, 63, so we're on day 10 now. So when we get to day 63, when this gets to day 63 on here, this will be claimable and I'll be able to claim all that BNB, all those tokens, and I'll be able to restake. Okay, now you can sell a stake as well. Okay, now there is a marketplace for that, but that is a completely uh, separate tutorial uh, because there's too much information you'll need for that. But I have done videos on some information that you can check in my channel. Okay, so that is basically staking. Now you can stake as many days as you want, you can go in the auction as many days as you want. So that is entirely up to you, all right? It depends on what you can afford. Always remember that this is always high risk. Everything is high risk. What I will tell you is that this platform is uh, from a developer that has already created a one similar to this on a different blockchain that is still running, and it's been running for two years, okay? So that will give you some indication. All right, so that's basically how you stake. Now, um, in the last part of this video, I might do a couple of... Uh, maybe tips and tricks, maybe just that you can, uh, just in case there's anything I've missed, uh, anything that I've missed, I'll add to the end of this video. If I haven't missed anything, then I won't add anything. All right. So, so that's basically it. Just remember that you need to have the MetaMask wallet installed. Make sure that it's secured. Now, what you can do, it's another video, but what you can do is you can buy yourself a Ledger Nano S and it's a hardware wallet. Learn about it, Google about it. Legend Nano S and that will connect to your MetaMask and it's just a way of securing your funds a lot better. All right. So that's basically it. Uh, there is lend a lending option where you can borrow against your stake, but that's for another video. Uh, and there's FAQs here, obviously, that you can you know look at. So I hope that's helped. Now, if you've got anything you need to find out, any questions you want to ask, my Discord channel, and you know we. We help any new members. If you're new to crypto, it doesn't matter. Come and join the Discord channel. The link will be in the description. Okay. And if you've got anything that you're not sure about, come to the Discord channel. And uh, if it's not me, somebody else, we've got a lot of smart people in there, they will answer your questions. Okay. So I hope this video has helped. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Have yourself a great day.